only twice. He lost both matches. This guy's been around a, a while in Korea. He's played a, a lot of online tournaments. And he's uh, always kind of been a B-teamer floating around several different teams. He ended up on Prime here. And uh, he, like many of the members on Prime, have just not been able to secure a single win. Yeah, it's it's going to be hard for him, definitely, also in this matchup that he's gone against Biel. A ZVZ, a very hard matchup to play. Here's Biel, speaking of. He's 8-5 and five so far in all of Pro League, but in Pro League 2014, he is 5-4. and four. One and two against Zerg. Not the best ratio, but I'd still take him over departure right now. Yeah, and he doesn't have a you know a ton of stats to go on when it comes to ZBZ. I mean, only three games played so far this season. Um, he did extremely well in WCS America, where he did play some Zerg versus Zerg. He's a solid player overall, and he's highly favored here. Our very first map is going to be Frost, a four-player map, so I don't think we'll see any crazy shenanigans. Just, uh, you know, very difficult to identify your opponent's starting location, so a very early pool has a high chance of failure. And even if you do find your opponent's scouting location, the rust distance is not very short. Yeah, we've seen some teases on the map. I just don't think it's really going to be likely that we see it. I'd I, I see this match going a little bit later, maybe into Road to Reverse, and maybe going up to that higher tech. Yeah, and uh, it's going to be, I think if there's anybody who tries to hit a timer, be aggressive, it's going to be Departure, because Biel is just a calm, patient Zerg most of the time. You know, I, I like to call him the mountain because of this. He just will sit back and defend and uh, take what comes to him and then take the advantage from that to win the game. Yeah, I think I'm feeling a Roach versus Roach battle here in the mid game that, that uh, ends in, in Biel's favor. Only time will tell though. Frost is our map. It's loaded up. We're ready to jump into game number one between Prime and Incredible Miracle. Down here in the bottom right to start things off for Prime, the Purple Zerg departure. To the top left in blue, we have Incredible Miracle, Yell. Yeah. And uh, mention this, I guess, just once more, but uh, we have official colors for each team now. They will consistently be using these colors for the rest of the tournament. I like it too. Um, it gives them more of an identity, yeah. I feel like, you know. Most teams, they have, you know, the, the colors pretty much matching with their colors. And, uh, you know, some teams have the same color, and they got to do a little bit of off-coloring. But, um, yeah. Actually, it's, it's uh, strange to me to see the Prime logo in purple because it just feels like it's the wrong tint of the correct color, which is yeah. red. <laughs> um, but uh, we're cross-spawns, Brennan. So this is going to be a, a pretty long early game here. You know, we're... It's likely to be hatch first against hatch first because this map is, it's very big. It's a four player map. It's very difficult to put on early aggression, especially a cheese, um, which you don't see too often in Pro League anyways. So, I mean, it's not to say that after the hatchery goes down, somebody takes gas first, gets speed early, and then does a speedling all on that. That could be something we see, but something to kill the hatchery is just very unlikely. So both players are gonna take a very economic approach here. Yeah, this makes sense. Uh, we were talking about how it would probably be Departure who would go for that timing attack. It's not really Biel's style to do that kind of thing. Like you were saying before, just be that mountain, be that defender, and just wait and see what Departure does, and then just come back with more solid uh, macro and micro. But seeing both these players go for hats first, uh, like you said, probably going to be a bit of a longer early game here. Yeah. And uh, who's being the Greedmeister, actually, is Departure. It's taken the... Uh the gas and additional drones, I think two of them, before he made the spawning pool. So he's super, uh, you know, he's super into that uh, economy he's building right now. Sign distracted me. Pro League forever. <laughs> Pro, Pro League forever. forever. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Pro League for life with an L, -L Y F life for life. Four. Yeah, and for life. Four. <laughs> yeah, like the number four. Yeah. Um, a little tip for you guys. Well, not a tip, but I guess a little tidbit. Um, in Korean elevators, they usually use an F instead of a 4 because of uh, the, the association with, uh, I guess, the Chinese character for death. Yeah. Chinese character for death and the one for the number 4 are pronounced the same way. Yeah. 
so they see it as unlucky to use that number. Just like uh, in America, actually, sometimes they don't have a 13th floor. Yeah, actually, usually there's no 13th floor. Um, they just skip to 14, which to me doesn't really make any sense because even though they're not using that number, like there's still a four, like a 13th floor. Oftentimes that floor is either just called the 14th floor, even though it's a 13th one, or it's empty in some cases. Like I've seen this in hotels where the floor is just empty. I don't know what goes on on those floors, but uh, that's scary, man. That's creepy. Yeah, my sister and I used to explore hotels when we were kids, and we just like go and see. We're like, what's on the 13th floor of this building? And usually it was like either access denied or not interesting. He's only just going to meet each other in the middle of the map and ignore each other as they're not interested particularly in either of each other. Yeah, nothing just yet. A Banely mess going down for departure here. He's also getting that faster Zergling speed. He wants to deny these Zerglings getting in. Is he going to get it? No. The Zergling is going to see that Baneling Nest. That's really annoying for him. Um, it may just be a defensive Baneling Nest. We, we don't know if he's going to be aggressive with it or not. But he's getting it pretty early. So I think he's keen on some aggression. Meanwhile, these two Zerglings will be denied. And that's partially due to the later pool. You know, if you get a slightly later pool, the Lynx can't actually outrun that second Queen. At least not in this case, not cross spawns on Frost. Spinecrawler goes down, and it looks like Departure is just going to abuse the fact that his opponent has to be a little bit worried here, and just drone up. He's drone up pretty heavily right now. Yeah, I like that idea, actually. Putting down the Evo Chamber as well. Two of them, rather. Wants to get ahead. I think, I think you're right in this, actually. He's not going to go for an attack here. I think he wants to just uh, sit back for now. Yeah, I mean, he's he's got the extra gas, so he can go ahead and use that for uh, the Evolution Chamber upgrades. He's also going to be able to use that Zergling speed to scout a lot, make sure his opponent doesn't have a third base. So he's got this huge tech advantage over his opponent, and he's even going to use it to kill the Zergling, deny information. Yeah, I mean, actually, besides the Queen's, uh, Departure's in a pretty good spot right now. He's He's got the better tech, he's got the upgrades going faster, and they're at the same amount of drones. Yeah, and quite frankly, you know, he doesn't need the Queens right now. Uh, because he's not worried about spreading creep to a third base. He's not worried about defense. So all those minerals that are, are instead mined to gas are working out pretty well for him. Yeah. He's also taking the quicker third base, as our observer does show us here. Yeah, he's actually going to go ahead and take that right now. And, you know, of course, now spreading creep to that becomes pretty important defensively. He's even denying his opponent's creep spread a little bit here. Loses his early in the process, but uh, he's just wasting energy in any way he can. Does does he actually see the third base? I'm not sure. I, I know there's like a bunch of departure overlords over there for some reason that are not prime or not uh, Biel overlords. So I don't know if he actually saw that. Yeah, I think that's an overlord over uh, on the left side, right? Yeah. But did did he see it? I don't know. Well, he's got to see it if it's still there. Here's Barbie. That's Barbie. Hello. Hello. She can't hear us, but we can still say hello. Yeah. You know what's really awkward was like you see somebody on the street you recognize and they're like kind of far away and you yell at them to try to say hi to them but they don't hear you and you're just like, oh god <laughs> but everyone like that's nearby you saw you do that and like, they'll look at you they're like they're like well are you gonna chase him down and i'm like no they're all questioning you with their eyes you just feel pressure to make a decision it feels bad look at this, this there's a lot of coming service, around man. and i don't know if he has enough here transfuse is going down though with that spine car and those roaches coming out looks like he is gonna hold and albeit his hatchery is still later, it's not really uh, being utilized right now for departure. He just spent a lot of larva on these links that didn't accomplish their mission. Yeah, and he's still making links. He got, he's got more on the way. He's about to get the plus one uh, to attack as well as that plus one to armor that he just got. Yeah. Um, but he has no roaches. This is actually pretty strange. Uh, he really wants to make this work, and he's going to be able to get the spine crawler this time. I don't think he's going to be able to kill that many roaches, though. There's just these, They're not going to be able to get the surface area. There's too many of them. He kills the queen, which is pretty annoying. Gets a spine as well, but he's not going to get that hatch. Yeah, he got the two queens and the spine, but he's, he's spending a lot of larva on Zerglings. I mean, our, our observer just showed us the fact that he's up in drones, but Bill has 18 roaches, whereas Departure has none right now. And roaches become more relevant, you know, very quickly, especially once they start to get their upgrades out. And what he may be able to do is just use this roach advantage to hit a timing. You can see roaches here denying these Zerlings. I mean, he has roach speed even right now. These Zerlings are actually going to get chased down if they don't leave. Get out of there, Zerlings. You don't belong here. That's what the roach said. Yeah. Seems like Departure is building up all of his tech right now. He's got the upgrades on the way as well a little bit faster. Um... But, you know, he's, he's waiting to get that Roach army standing. He just didn't want to get it 
just yet, I guess, because he didn't feel like it. He wanted to be a little bit more tricky with these Zerglings, maybe go for a run by, maybe surround some stuff. Even like this little yeah. sad roach. Every time Bjorn makes a mistake, he's going to try to capitalize on it. And he's keeping the, the roach army that's much bigger than his away from his base, which he's had for a while now. So he's trying to capitalize on that extra economy. And his upgrades are definitely working out for him in that sense. Um, he's got way better upgrades right now. I mean, he's just way ahead. There's gonna there's gonna come a time when he gets to two, and it's a little bit faster. I just don't know if he's gonna go for an attack, just because Bill is continuing to make more Maroches as well. You know, looking at it, he's not even as ahead as I thought. He's his carapace is just a little bit ahead. Yeah. That's that's actually it. So that was an inaccurate statement that I made earlier. He's trying to. Well, it looks like he's considering killing these rocks so he can have a better position when the attack comes. It looks like he changed his mind. He's got to inspect them first, make sure there's no uh, faulty stuff. Yeah. It's like calling Dustin Browder. He's like, are you, are you cool if I kill these rocks? Because, like, I know They're not going to kill half my Roach army, right? They're not going to fall on it, and they're all not going to disappear, right? Well, he just he doesn't want to hurt Dustin's feelings because Dustin has created these, and he's very happy about them. Uh, well, I mean, Burrow is now being researched, so... He's going to be able to, if he gets Burrow movement, harass a little bit of the Roaches. He's going to be able to have that regeneration ability. Usually in Zerg versus Zerg, there's not really a lot of fighting where Roaches go home half half healthy and they regenerate. Usually it's a slaughter one way or the other. Yeah. Well, it's, it's somewhat useful. Departure's coming across the map. His 2-2 just finished. He could hit right before the plus two for armor uh, gets up for Bill. He would have to hit right now. Looks like that's exactly what he wants to do. He needs a good position, though. Yeah, this is pretty scary. I think he's trying to utilize his timing, but I like the position for Biel. He's got a better concave. He's got a lot of reinforcements coming down here. We'll see, though. I mean, the upgrades still are much better for Biel here. I mean, that one Carapace upgrade makes a huge difference. And they're fighting. I mean, it looks like the snowball is going in Biel's favor right now just because he has so many more reinforcements coming out. Yeah. The departure, I mean, he had that, that Carapace, but he attacked into a concave and, and the reinforcements as well that you mentioned. And now he's going to have his own Carapace upgrade in just a second. He's also got Burrow. And uh, he's just going to chase these roaches down and punish. This yeah. is not a good situation. In fact, he's not even running with those, giving them away for free. Yeah. And now Bill is going to walk across the map. He's getting Burrow movement right now. I don't think it's going to finish by the time he gets there, but he does have Burrow right now. Could do a little bit of micro with that as well as he comes across the map. You guys see the supply right now. He's up by about 20 army supply. Yeah. And, you know, once he starts to engage this, he can just keep trying to pick off Roaches to have a better engagement until uh, the reinforcements come out for departure. And then if he does that, then uh, by the time that, that little skirmish is done, he will have the Burrow movement, can start harassing. That's why this Overseer is here. It's very important uh, so that no run buys get into his main base or uh, shark buys, whatever you want to call them. His Roach is going underground. A terrifying thing if you don't scout it. Those both players are consistently using their Overseers to uh, contaminate the hatcheries. That's really nice. I like it. Just a little thing you can do to give yourself a little advantage. Hashtag just overseer things. <laughs> that and changelings. And having a bunch of eyeballs. Yeah. Just just overseer things. All those Zerglings have no idea. What's that queen doing? <laughs> do those Zerglings actually not see the burrowed roaches before they burrow? I don't know if he, if he did or not. It depends on Lion Sight Walker, I guess. Well, this is a sloppy defense. He's got roaches at home, but they're not doing their job. Here come those uh, shark roaches. And uh-oh, this is actually a little bit annoying for uh, Bialy. He's losing a lot of his army here, including that queen. There's yeah. no detection here for the roaches. There's no detection. Those roaches are going to continue to be there. They could even move into the main. For now, it looks like he just wants to do a lot of damage. He took out the queen so far, and he's got four at the natural and has more going into the main. He even has more roaches here. Seems like Departure wants to fight this. He has a better concave, but I'm not sure how that's going to go. Taking a lot of damage back at home. Yeah, I mean, he needs to do a ton of damage with this. All that Bill needs to do really is defend, and I think he's he's almost done that. You know, he just needs a few more reinforcements. He has them coming. He's got the better production. He's got the better economy. And, I mean, just look at look at the bank for him, too. He's got a better, better bank as well. And this is going to be game. 25 Roaches coming out here, and they are going to end the game. He's now doubling his opponent's supply. And Departure is is a dead man. Yeah. We were talking about this before the game. Probably Roach, Roach. And Biel was looking pretty good to take it, and he's done it. Just too much for Departure to handle so far. Um, he's going to have to shortly uh, take his Departure from that booth. And there it is, GG. Biel uh, giving a very light fist pump there on the booth. A well-deserved win. And, I mean, that was pretty straight up. He had some early, uh, I just want to say he had some 
some cards stacked against him with the upgrades, for example, and his hatchery timing didn't really work out, and he didn't really capitalize on having that uh, hatch first as well. He had elite tech. But the Zerglings that were committed to by Departure um, didn't do as much damage as he wanted them to, and then Bill eventually got his double upgrades out and was able to just take better, more consistent engagements. He had Burrow movement, which is really what uh, was the final nail in the coffin because there was no way for Departure to turn around with most of his army uh, and not lose ground. And then he didn't have a defense at home. He didn't have spines up, of course. He couldn't afford it. Yeah, he pretty much covered it all there. I pretty much it's, did. That's, that's like <laughs> that's like about as standard of a ZDZ you can get, you know? Yeah. Very that's, very that's well slow, said. very slow early game. Goes into roach versus roach. One player tries to go for a timing with the earlier upgrades, doesn't quite work, and then it just kind of stabilizes. Bill kind of overcomes him by taking the better engagements, and you know? Yeah, it was just like Bill played the much better game. Uh, two completely different styles, two different approaches to the same.